Hello guys, um, I'm going to be talking about my science fair project for uh, Science Bound and um, I'm just going to tell you right now that I did get the science award in other words the highest award that you can get um, I'm not sure if other schools have the science award and participants award but um, the science award is is uh, one of, is the one that uh, you're hoping to get. It's the main one, and I actually won it with this right here, which is a secret ingredient. It's uh, really easy, and it's very very well known. But for some people who haven't known, um, for Science Bound, uh, you'll actually be looking forward to this. Um, just right here, I have a bottle of sodium acetate trihydrate. Right there, you can see in the dark black letters. I got it from the science company. They have a website. I believe it's the science Um Um So this is just the 500 gram. You can also get a smaller size. Uh there's also different forms of Oh, yeah, there it is. There's also different forms of this. There's a sodium acetate um, anhydrous, I think that's what it's called, and it's more of a powdery form. This is a little bit more crystallized, and I found this one to work a little bit easier. I actually worked with two of these bottles, and as you can see, I don't have that much left. About a tenth left than what it came with. Um, uh, okay, so I'm just going to talk to you about uh, how to prepare it. I'm not really going to show you. I'm kind of saving this. But what I did is I took a one fourth cup of the sodium acetate and um, I put it in a beaker. Uh, on that beaker, and it was a, a heat resistant beaker, or uh, like in other words, it won't break to heat and it can be used on a hot plate, which is what I used. In other words, you can just use it on a stove or something. But I put it on a beaker and I put about, I would say about 20 milliliters of water. Um, in other words, if you have just those little plastic droppers, you, you just put about 20 drops in there, um, just kind of estimating. And then uh, what's cool about this crystal form is that it actually melts down, so you get a very, very super saturated. And super saturated is filling it as much um, with some kind of uh, chemical, in this case sodium acetate, uh, until there's no more room for it and it won't dissolve in the water so you just need a little bit of water for it and um, like I said I put about 20 milliliters in one fourth cup um, and uh, anyways I just put it on a hot plate in other words just the stove but I put it on a hot plate that you can just plug into the wall and um, that beaker was uh, it just starts to boil it down and um, what you do is you just keep stirring it and it'll turn into a liquid form and once it starts liquidating if you have if you don't have enough water there's gonna be a crusty film it's it's just gonna be clear transparent but it will look uh, it'll look like a piece of plastic um, like what's that wrap called um, it'll look like just plastic and uh, just right on top like the top layer of the uh, uh, sodium acetate and uh, it all dissolves and there might be a little bit of layer and all you have to do to correct this is add some more water just barely enough until it goes away I would just start out one drop at a time and stirring it um, stir it for about 15 seconds if it's not gone by then just keep adding more water um, but do not overfill it with water because then uh, it might not turn out but you might get lucky and it will turn out but this way I just found it to get exactly super saturated that way I would, I would get a very quick reaction and that's exactly what happened uh, as, as I was stirring um, it's actually heating up the, soda, the dissolved sodium acetate and what that did is uh, it was just well I just heated it enough to the point where it wasn't boiling but almost there as soon as the little bubbles started to form at the bottom, uh, that means it was going to start to boil. That's when you take it immediately off that uh, hot plate. And uh, you pour it into another beaker, but make sure only the liquid, because if that uh, filmy plastic layer hasn't come off, make sure only the liquid gets in another beaker. Uh, once you have only the liquid in another beaker, um, you don't have to do anything else with the remains. You can just put that uh, other beaker with the dissolved um, 
finished product. You can put it in a freezer, uh, ice bath, in other words water with uh, a lot of ice. Or you can put it outside if you're in the winter time. Um, I put it outside at about 4 degrees and uh, it was during the daytime so you can just imagine how cold it is where I live. But right now we're in the summer and it's pretty nice. Anyways, uh, sorry for getting off topic. I put it outside at about 4 degrees and I left it there 40 minutes on my first try. No, not 40 minutes, I'm sorry. I left it 20 minutes on my first try. On my second try, um, and it did work the first time. On my second try, I actually did 10 minutes outside at about 8 degrees. And um, that also worked out. So all you have to do is make sure it cools down to the point where you're you're able to touch it and you can feel it's cold but do not touch the liquid just touch the outside of the beaker um, just to be safe um, for you guys I would put it in a freezer or in an ice bath for 15 minutes and uh, just play it safe make sure it comes out uh, how you want it and then all you have to do is it's still going to be in a liquidy form after it's cold after 15 minutes of cooling and um, all you have to do is just get one more little crystallized drop and just drop it right into the finished solution which is still a liquid and what it happens is that it makes hot ice I did not mention the name before I'm sorry but it's called hot ice um, and you put it in there and it looks like a big chunk of ice but as you touch it and it is safe to touch once it's hard um, what happens is that it starts to heat up and it's just really fascinating if you explain it very well of how you boil it and then uh, you bring it back down to cool and then just by adding a little bit of uh, more of this uh, to the finished cool solution uh, it'll actually turn to a big piece of ice but it gets hot that's where it gets the name hot ice uh, it's just a cool experiment and like I said I won the science award for the science bound program some of you people might know what it is, some of you might not, and definitely research it to find out if any schools near you have that program because you can get a $30,000 or more uh, scholarship. Um, all you have to do is participate in the program and it's not that hard at all. Um, my average, my GPA is above 3.0 and that's all you need to stay in. You, know, you just go to meetings and you have fun for four years, five years actually. Uh, in your high school and one year in your middle school and uh, it's pretty cool because they give you thirty thousand dollars so might as well take it so just try and research about that but that's how I won the science bound science fair project um, thanks for watching and there is a video here on YouTube uh, just type in how to make hot ice so please check that out and um, thank you for taking the time to listen to my science fair project um, good luck on your project. If not, good luck having fun at home. And um, I'll be making more videos. Check those out. Check out the videos I already have. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.